Cobol. By the way, I just noticed that means that Cobol. Uh, oh, so I wonder who won between Wobbles and Moon. That's a, that's a set that I, was, I was looking forward to. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, it's hard for us to know, of course. Again, these are all like paper brackets, so yeah. <laughs> we can't really pull it up to see. We are mostly in the dark until we see who's playing, and then we can deduce usually the results. Right. Yeah. This is the best we got. Yep. <laughs> all right, Cobalt to a strong start. Ooh. This matchup usually strikes FD, though uh, it's not exactly great for Falcon. No. It's just he can, well, he's he forced get it done into. Here. Yeah, he's forced into it because he has to strike uh, Yoshi's and Fountain. Yeah. All right, Gravy now. Seeing the, some of the strengths of his play. Oh, well, immediate side B. Yeah. That's well, just respectful. Oh. Yeah, Bobo did not even react to that. It looked like he was waiting for a defensive option. Love the backer to knee connection. But Gravy uh, turns it around. Completely closing that stock out after a zero to death on the first stock, by the way. Cobol. Oh, immediate nair to beat out his, his uh, Fox's nair. Gravy's looking so nice. Hey, look at the neutral game. I actually think that's one of the areas that Gravy excels the most in. He's definitely done a lot of uh, theory crafting about neutral game as far as uh, pivots are concerned. Mm. Both uh, empty pivots and pivots with moves attached to them. Absolutely. And now he's got the lead. As well as aerial drifts. Yeah, but after that SD. Uh, yeah, despite a very strong start by Cobalt. All right. Oh, the conversion. Anytime you DI in on that back air, uh, Fox can get an up air off of it afterwards. Even at those higher percentages. And it's so tempting to DI in, right? Because you don't want to be off stage with Falcon. Exactly. Yeah. What? He just forgot a forward smash in the face? <laughs> Give him the knee. He was, uh, was probably mean about for a roll, but, you know, sometimes it works. Yeah. Oh, pouch oh, cancel. Yeah. That's good for an immediate knee. Wants right. the biggest punch possible. He's at slightly too high of a percentage to actually remain close enough to land the knee after the crouch cancel. Now. Oh, he, he knew. He knew it was an aerial shine. Yeah. And went for the immediate grab. Yeah, that's good. Good awareness, yeah. And again, he, it was an aerial shine. Could have gotten something off that, too. Okay, is that stock? No. no, that was great DI on the stop, actually. Oh, and he doesn't quite get the follow-up, too. He's ready for it, but doesn't quite get far enough in stage to cover. I love that wave dash. Oh, it's so crazy. fast, too. He's amazing at turning around and stealing the ledge so quickly. Oh, stop man, what spacing. Gravy knew exactly what Kobo was going for. Right and there. also, he went for stomp. Stomp actually has a real back to it. It's an amazing. That avoids up smash, too. Amazing so. pull-up, yeah. Okay, a cold ball on the offensive. Oh, is that the stock? Wow, he just uh, straight up converts it. Nair to up smash. Yeah, I wonder if that was the, the optimal DI. Usually Falcon can uh, live at that percent. Yeah. I know he was above the ground, but. Right. Um. So, well, Gravy does now have his counter pick. Let's see what he's thinking. Falcons all, you know, they have their own preferences. Sometimes they like battlefields, sometimes they like dreamland, maybe even a stadium pick. Right. Mostly come down to preference in those scenarios. Yeah. And it is going to be Battlefield. Assuming that means that Cobalt Ooh. took out Dreamland, probably. Hmm, misses his dash back input. Nair towards the oh. corner. Wow. Oh, oh. oh that back air was so nice, too. But uh, I don't think he quite expected uh, the side B to clip the stage. Oh, gets the tech chase. Nice, waits for the tech in as well. Yeah, wow. Oh, wow, and he waits perfectly. Cobol does take the first stock. Almost gets the stomp on the side platform. Ooh. Ooh. Immediate up smash. Oh, continues the platform tech chase. Very nice. Oh, he looks so in control right now, Cobol. Yes, yes. Oh, did he? Wow, he must have double jumped into that. Okay, Gravy with a beautiful capitalization. Runs up and crouch, gets the grab out of it. Text layer by Cobol. Oh, just barely misses that back air. Whenever you get that uh, tech chase situation in the corner, you get a little turnaround to cover lack of tech or tech in place with Falcon. Gravy just slightly late on it, though. Oh, oh, good control. Tech chase, yeah. 
Raven's got to make something big happen. Right. I he feel like he's got to get a knockdown. Oh, that, that's, exactly, that's what exactly what he needed. That's exactly what he needed. Yeah. Right. That's optimal. He went for the uh, the commit on the uh, overshot knee and didn't quite get exactly what he's looking for, but <laughs> works out in his favor anyway. Shot oh, all the way down. Yeah. That's, that's really good. Falcon's so vulnerable. Yeah, the, the Falcon that. dive, the down B, has just has so much uh, yeah. lag to it. Yeah. And now Gravy on his tournament stock. If he can get a grab or a knockdown. Oh, he double jumped into that. And now Cobol. Wow, it. I think. Not quite able to get that third up air. Had he, though, that would have been the stock. Oh, man. That might be it. Gravy does fade. Okay. But the trade once more. Oh, yeah, closes it sad. out, ending Gravy's incredible Evil 2016. Right. I think it ended, ended at like 17th or something. 17th, yeah. So good for him. Definitely. And at the end of the day, that's a very impressive showing. Absolutely. Um, at a tournament with 2,300 and, and some odd competitors. Yep. Um, it, it's it's uh, super impressive. Cobalt continues his run. He, um, and uh, we'll see more matches uh, right after this uh, commercial break. Uh, so stay tuned, guys. We'll be uh, right we'll back. We'll be right back.